last time on Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. Are you actually gonna search? I hope we can find them within the time limit. Also, why is the blind? <laughs> We're sending a blind man to go look. Find it, blind man. Hopefully he does. <laughs> Hopefully it's not in his rooms. <laughs> if we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Seriously, if he runs into a puzzle, what is he gonna do? And now. Hello. It is I, the Nugster, back with 999. And oh boy, I cannot tell you how excited I am to learn more interesting facts presented by Junpei and friends. <laughs> oh boy, last time we went through. Which number door did we go through? Eight? No. Five? No, no. Eight. It was seven or eight. I don't remember. It was seven or eight. We left Ace behind. He's just so adamant that we will come and help him eventually. And now we're in another puzzle room. This is the puzzle video. It's going to take me at least an hour to get through this. So, uh, strap in. Get your learning hats on. I'm sure Seven and Clover know great facts that'll help you through life. <laughs> hey! I wonder what this thing is. It says KG on the display. Oh, that stands for Kilo Goblins. You think maybe it's a scale? Well, that's what the KG... Can I look at it? Huh? There's some sort of lid on this thing. Why'd you try opening it? You can't. There's no handle. Just use your fingers. God's handles. Can't get it under with my nails either. Okay. So I guess useless. There's something that looks like it could be a scale next to the operating table. And something that looks like a lid on the front of it. Alright. Guess we'll look at this corpse. These guys are really kind of creepy, you know. Hey, it says something here. John. You think that's his doll's name? Aw, they named him. How cute. Maybe. This thing is creepy. I wonder why it's on the bed. Isn't it? I don't know. Maybe they're playing that game that I don't know. Creepy medical mannequins laying on the bed. Apparently, his name is John. All right, John. I'm gonna move it around you a little bit. Don't mind our bickering and facts. An operating table. Do you think old operating tables look like this? It's just a table. I have no idea. I'm surprised I don't know. Uh, what's this? A white cloth. Yeah. You don't wanna... Okay. John just lying there. Menacing like. Maybe if I keep clicking on him, he'll get up eventually. Alright. Nothing. Alright. I guess let's head right. Uh... Oh god. He uses for surgery, right? Let's see. Syringes, cups, a plate. Yeah, they eat. This is a sort of scissory-ish thing. You mean scissors? What are you talking about? <laughs> a coach or forceps? Oh, all right, fine. And those scissors? Uh, no, they're coach or forceps. You silly. Looking a funny. No, that's probably a pair of coach or forceps. <laughs> I would know. Surgeons can use them during operations. They can hold blood vessels shut, keep tissues out of the way. We can use it to pull stuff out of small holes or something like that. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. What about the plate? A bunch of surgical tools. What about the cup? What about the the, the, the thingy? The put thing. Nothing. I don't want anything else on here. What's this? What's it? Wait. Hold. Okay. What about this one? What about this one? What about this? Okay. Now do I take take it off? Oh no, Sarah! This bed doesn't look very comfortable. Well, it does have a another medical mannequin. Who killed this medical mannequin? From the looks of it, this one's a chick. Damn it! Where's the where's the bottom half? We need to find it. We have to put her together. She's a name too. Lucy. Poor thing. Looks like Miss Lucy only has a head and a left arm. <laughs> Poor old Lucy. 
Are we supposed to gather all their parts? Why? Why, Zero? Why? An old hard bed. It, uh, okay. Lucy's head and left arms are on the table. Maybe something will happen if we gather all their body parts. Where is your vagina? Some kind of device attached to the bed. It says kilograms on the panel. Is this a scale? Oh. Maybe we just have to match the weights? Uh. Okay. That, that's it. All right. Oh, who put the cover back on? Just leave it off. What's this thing? It's got these short iron legs. Furnace. Maybe you hear? There's nothing inside it. All right. There's a pipe going outside. Oh, maybe we can crawl through it. There's a pipe going outside. Hey, I know. <laughs> Let's go through the pipe and escape. Are you nuts? What the hell is wrong with you? Jupiter, are you flexible like an octopus or something? Yes. I'll watch and behold as I dislocate and break every bone in my body so that I can fit through these pipes. There's a pipe right outside. It's not octopi. We can't get through that. <laughs> Alright. Enough goofing about, you silly baboons. Alright. What is that? Is that her boobs? What am, what am, oh, it's a fake chest. Okay, it is. <laughs> Ew, that's gross. It's made of. It's made of plastic. This is the chest. This is a chest. It's a woman's chest. I can tell. Oh lordy. The heart's gone, but it's pretty hot. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What seven? What? That kind of thing turns you on, seven. You're a real creepo. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab that one. It doesn't even look like a woman's chest. What do you mean? Alright. Maybe you're supposed to heat something like that gauze to kill the bacteria? What? There's a boiling thingy over there. There's nothing on the lid or in the drawers. Yeah, alright. Thing for boiling tools to sterilize them. That's interesting. There's nothing in the drawer. Alright. There are a whole bunch of bottles on the shelves. They all look like medicine. Got labels, but they're all big medical words that I don't understand. Like Advil. The drawer is empty. Yeah, nothing there. Oh, thanks, guys. Nothing on the lower shelf. Alright. Hey, That's a lot of medicine. I wonder if one of these is a laxative. <laughs> I'm gonna force feed it to Ace. Watch him shit himself. Yeah, it sounds kinda gross, but I'm pretty sure every one of us had has had the same idea. I had some laxative, maybe we could crap out the Oh. <laughs> well, that is an idea. Crap out the bombs you're put in this. Fortunately, damn it. I don't know what medicine does what here. God, who didn't even label laxatives? Shells are packed with bombs, medicine can't have by. Cool. Nothing on our shells. All right, let's spin ourselves more. Uh, oh, oops, I'm sorry, I have trouble turning my head. There is a chemical room. Looks like it's locked. Guess we're gonna need a key for this one. Great. But, wait, wait, hold on. It'll take me a little bit, just hold on. Yeah, hold on. Okay, I can't click on it. <laughs> Ignore what you saw. GP, where are you going? I'm leaving. That's the door we came through. I think out there's a number door. Pretty sure I don't need to tell you that the number door is a one-way deal, so... You're saying there's no point going back there, huh? And they're nodding. Awesome. Now I look like a fucking idiot. Good job, Junpei. You made us look stupid. I'm just kidding, I forced you to go. I control you. Preparations room. God damn it, it's locked. I can probably find the key for you to look some more. Let's look somewhere else. Alright, fine. Yeah, look somewhere else. Get right on that. I'll get right on that. Hey, there's something. A medical mannequin with its gut showing. It's a two face. Ew! Gross! I hate guts! Hey Junpei, there's a slit in this thing's chest. 
Yeah, sure is. Something in there. Maybe we can get it out. Is it a key? Ugh. Damn it. Stinking thing won't budge. It's stuck. Well, I guess you can't use force on this one then. I need something small that can fit into the little hole. Maybe the kosher forceps. Maybe the kosher forceps. Yeah, I think it's the kosher forceps. And whoop. Great, now I have a fake organ. I'm proud of us guys. <laughs> you did the organ thingy on the chest thingy. It's a lot. It's a lot on organ thingy, you stupid small child. Huh? This part here on the back, it's all rubber. You're right. So? It's a fake organ. Of course it'll be. It'd be. Wait. What's Seven grabbing it for? Hey, it feels like there's something in here. In the long? What are you guys talking about? Think we can cut through the rubber part? Oh? They're gonna take out the chest. Part of the back of it is a little rubbery. It feels like there's something inside of it. If we can cut the thing open, we should be able to get whatever's in there. Damn, if only I kept that rusted knife. Check the medical mannequin. One of the organs is missing. The organ is... <sighs> Alright, well, I'll end it there for now on that. <laughs> The organ is Oh god, I say with a little blush. Tee really, Clover? I expected more from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you could do better. Chasm Alcohol Mannequin. Part of one of the organs is missing. The organ is We pulled the lung on the right, there's still some more stuff in there. Man, you're kinda slow, aren't you? <laughs> Man, I just love fucking around. You say something? One more time? She has a medical mannequin. One of the organs is missing. Okay. Hey, is there any sharp tool? <laughs> it's the only 3D object on that table I knew it was important. A, scal a scalpel that's not rusty. Seems like it was put here for a reason, huh? What a clever guy that Zero fella is. I think it's telling us to cut something? Maybe. Yeah, I do. Now, combine this with the lawn and bruh. Let's try cutting this organ with a scalpel. And we found an organ key. <laughs> it's a key, just a king's organ. As there should be in all of our lawns. Found a key in the eternal organ. A key is found one of my internal organ. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything left up here. Alright, let's go see which of the two doors this opens. Uh, preparation room. Cool, it's unlocked. Alright. Uh, just hooky things. I don't think I can interact with. Oh god. Drawer. Let's see if, uh, huh, piece of paper. What's this? Some kind of medical record? Oh my god, a naked woman? <laughs> Maybe it'll be added to the file screen. I don't know what that means. Nothing left in this drawer. Cabinet with a drawer in it. Alright, cool. Uh, what's the file screen? Oh, this. What? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Not ever found in the preparation has records for the two mannequins. There's a male mannequin named John and a female named Lucy. The record shows each mannequin. Mannequin's total weight and the weight of their individual parts. Uh. Interesting. Ding. I think. <laughs> okay. I'm sure that will come in handy later. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Don't you want to get out of here? But I'm tired. I'd rather just take a nap and die. Uh, what in... God's creation. Oh my goodness. There's a ray of light going through the beaker. It's hitting the thing on the right. That, yeah. The white light on the top is glowing. Yeah, but the red, blue, and purple ones still aren't lit. What does this mean? Only the white light on top is lit. Red, blue, and purple ones are still dark. It's the red, blah, blah, blah yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> What do I have in my inventory? Boobs and a key. All right.
right? Oh boy. Ah, oh, it just keeps getting more complicated. I'm gonna check the. Hmm, it won't open. It looks like it's locked. There's a red plane on it. You think that means something? No. Damn, it's not opening. Locked, of course. The blue plane on here seems a little suspicious, though. I'm sure it means nothing. Damn, it's not opening. I won't even budge. It's got this purple play on it, too. I bet that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> uh, we're gonna die in here. A sink. The doctors and nurses probably washed their hands here before an operation. Nothing suspicious here. You sure about that? A sink. Doesn't look suspicious. What about the mirror? Do that thing that people did like 10 years ago. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Uh, 21. Alright, don't do that joke. There's a lock on the door. Key of God won't open it. Alright, it's locked. Don't even budge. You think this is the exit? Maybe. How would I know? What's this? A light switch? It doesn't even work anymore. Interesting. Alright. I am clearly missing something, I believe. I guess I'll be back. I'm so lost. Guys, please, solve the puzzle without me. I can't go on. Awesome, it's unlocked. You going here too? Oh boy, there's just so much. Oh my god. There's a note on the top of the table. Iron equals one, salt equals two, water equals three. Uh, carbon dioxide, ammonia, ethanol. What do you think you hint for? Is this something to do with this box? Uh, box is locked. Let's see, you have to enter a passcode on the keypad to open it. Enter three numbers. E is for enter and C is for clear. Once you put the number, press E. If you mess up, press C. Let's give it a shot. Uh, yep, that one. <laughs> Well, there's only so many combinations I can try. Maybe we'll get started. Iron, salt, water, carbon dioxide, ammonia, ethanol. Ah. Blue liquid. Oh, I need this for the other room. Red liquid. Looks like there's something. Look at the ship in the bottle. I'm sure I pour I'm sure I poured out some of the cap. Same reason why not. What's that? It's very red. Oh, blood. You think it's blood? No blood's thicker than that, I would know. And what is it? Beats me. Alright. I'm pretty sure I know where that goes, but, you know. This thing won't open. Is it locked? I would assume so, with the keypad and the lock and all. You probably need to put in a passcode. I mean, jeez, they even got a keypad on here. How much more I was... <laughs> Alright. Well, I kind of made fun of you, too, so you, you deserve it. I only entered three numbers. Yeah, I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I didn't say give it a shot. I just wanted to look at the box. All right, fine. I think it's one, two, three. <laughs> Iron, salt, water, carbon dioxide, ammonia, ethanol. What is it ranking by? Uh, iron, salt, water. Uh, I don't know. Blood. A rectangular table. I wonder, do people mix medicine on this thing? I really wonder. Hmm? Jimmy stinks! Uh, sorry, I just shit my pants. Is it coming from this bottle? It says NH3. Well, of course that stinks. It's ammonia. Oh. oh is there a number on it? It's a bottle of ammonia on the shelf. It says NH3 on the bottle. Oh. I, I guess the three is the... Wait. Why NH3? <laughs> oh god. N NH3, huh? I don't know why. I don't know. I think I need more information. Well, look at the first line. Maybe it represents a number? Yeah, okay. Thank you. I know I'm dumb. Just let me look around a little more. You be the iron. You put up iron powder on the shelf. I know it's iron. It was just F E. F E stands for iron, right? That it does. Put up iron powder on the shelf. Says F E on the bottle. 
cool. Hey, Jupe! Hey, Jupe! Hey, Jupe! Hey, Jupe! You think there's any slugs on the ship? Huh? Well, if there are, let's see if we can put shawl on them. That's... That's mean. What are you pointing at? Table states... N-A-C-L. Salt, huh? <laughs> you think Steven will show what we put on him? I think you should give it a try. He might just not kill you. Hey, you say something? Alright, there's a... Huh. Well, we found ammonia, iron, and salt. I don't, I don't know what it means. Hey, Junpei! There's a, what? There's a dehydrogen monoxide on this shelf. Why don't you just say water? Oh, dihydrogen. You're such a nerd. <laughs> What's this? Looks like we can spray your nozzle. It says CO2. It's a can filled with carbon dioxide. Oh? Oh, good. Oh, good stuff. Let's go for a drink. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that bottle. It says C2H50H, right? It's ethanol? That's right. It's also known as ethyl, ethyl alcohol. It's pretty much what booze is made of. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't just drink the, the, the other stuff straight, but so you're gonna drink it? No, well, <laughs> you might say that's what it is in the label, but there could be anything in there. I'm pretty sure you don't want to drink that either way. Okay, what? So we have ammonia, uh, iron salt, ethanol, uh, wa water? Oh no. Ethanol, water, uh, fucking. Ethanol water. What's up here? Uh, ethanol carbon dioxide water. Ethanol carbon dioxide water. Iron equals one. Carbon. Wait, iron salt water, right? So. Uh, okay, I'm gonna figure this out, okay? Oh, I think they just answered it for me. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't gonna read that because I was gonna, you know, figure stuff out. But I think, I think they just did. Salt so may have one soya and one chloride. Yep, I'm so dumb. I need those hints. God, <laughs> God damn it! I didn't think it was that easy. I was, the game is gaslighting me. I keep overthinking things now. All right, iron is one, salt is two, water is three, carbon dioxide is three, ammonia is, I don't know, what's ammonia again? NH3, so four, so three, four, yeah, I know, you don't need to count it out, I, I get it now, I get it, guys! And ethanol is one, two, seven, Eight nine, so three four nine, maybe. I don't know. Uh, three four nine, and and enter. I'm so goddamn smart. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Hey, a fake heart. We did it, and a fake right arm. Put your right arm in the body. It's kind of creepy. Okay, I put it together. Find the heart with put your right foot in. Okay, what if I do it the other way? Put your left foot out. Okay. All right. Well, out of this room, I think. You think we should go back? Why are you speaking now? <laughs> the times you decide to speak, and times you decide to let me take over your body and speak for you are weird. Yeah, I think that's probably best. Please don't indulge me with the fact. Hmm? Hey, Seven, what's up? What what's up, buddy? Oh, well, is is that a medicine bottle? I got curious about it. Here. <laughs> it's called Tylenol. Ethylene. 
Yeah, what he said. Yeah, that's right. CDT. Uh -oh. What kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Oh, of course. Why would they have something like that here? Well, probably to clean stuff up. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, bloody gods. I know. <laughs> Still. Fuck mine. Looks like it's clean my brain up. What? Wait, you remember something? Yeah. Well, I remember a story about EDT. Please do. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Please, I'm ready. I'm ready. I have my thinking cap on. I'm ready for Happened about knowledge. 50 years ago. Go for it. <laughs> there was this factory somewhere in America. Yeah. Big old EDT crystals. Mm. <laughs> they were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner. Like I told you before. Right. But a year after the factory started up, Something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Huh. What? 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 What started happening? Water molecules started attaching themselves to the EDT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation of the original crystals, called a hydrate. Interesting. Once the crystals turn into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. Right. The had to just dump the crystals. The hydrate, they were useless. Uh, yes. But it didn't end there. Oh, really? After that day, the same thing started happening in EDT factories. Oh my god. <laughs> Even ones nowhere near that first American factory. This is the same story as the glycerin thing. Glycerin, uh, glycerin crystallization. They've been making crystals the same way. With the same materials and the same equipment and environment. But now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. In fact, ever since that day, no factory anywhere has been able to make a pure EDT crystal. I can't wait for, at the end of this game for all of this to come together, and it will answer. It'll it'll answer the mysteries of everything. Even an EDT research done years before, they'd never gotten a hydrate. Well, given that this sort of story has been told twice now, at, at least this story or it's something about it. Oh, I guess the. Huh. I guess the story of the, the, the image that, uh, that a Lotus told us about and the Funya Rimp <laughs> and the dog thing. I guess that was a kind of the same thing too, wasn't it? Hmm. I am sensing themes among these random facts, apparently. After it happened at the first factory, it just spread. It was like... How do you say it? Aliens? It's like the molecules were communicating with one another. Transmitting information in a way humans couldn't perceive. I only thought one other person was that dog. This phenomenon I'm just kidding, I love you both. The world. Right. Yeah, that's... That's it exactly. How do you know that? But how did you know? I heard another story, uh, kind of like that one. Yeah, I'm kind of getting sick of it. Can you guys just sh shut up? <laughs> in the freezer? What? The freezer? Yeah, June told me. Hmm. What? Ice that doesn't melt at room temperature, huh? Uh. What? What is happening? That sounds familiar. Yeah, hold up. I, I feel like I can. Remember oh, I told him about the story. Okay. <laughs> right there. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was like merging minds with June, and they were just they were communicating. Do you know about Ice Nine? Do you know about Ice Nine? Ice Nine. Ice nine. Ice nine. Ice, ice, ice. Say it six more times. That's it. I remember now. That woman, she's on this boat. Uh, who? That woman? Alice! Uh, in Wonderland? Who's Alice? Come on. The woman who won't melt at room temperature. What? 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 What are you? What are you talking huh? about? Start making sense for a slap. Oh my you god. You know how the Titanic sank on April 15th, 1912, right? Yes, I have memorized that date in my mind. Yeah, more than 1,500 people died. Worst maritime accident in history. What about it? Did you hear about the boat that was sent to collect the dead bodies? No, I can't say that I have. Please tell me uh, about it. I think that was the RMS Carpathia, right? Apparently I have heard about it. <laughs> it was a cruise liner, just like the Titanic. No, that was the ship that picked up the survivors. Yeah, <laughs> no, you fucking idiot. That was the ship that picked up the survivors. Let me tell you about this other ship. The ship that collected the dead bodies was the C.S. McKay Bennett. 
Yeah, of course. So McKay Bennett showed up on April 17th, two days after the accident. Right. He set out from Halifax, a port in Canada, and recovered 306 bodies. A Canada name drop. The Atlantic that far north was really cold. It would have to be. Anyway, Oops, sorry. The bodies they pulled out of the water were frozen solid. Yeah, as you might expect. This isn't a very nice story. So, what happened next? Well, they say the McKay Bennett recovered something more than just dead bodies. <laughs> yeah. There were various bits of stuff floating around in the water. Things the drowned had carried with them, or stuff that dislodged as the ship sank. Okay. One of the things they found was a coffin. Oh my god, it's this fucking coffin again. A coffin? Yeah, a wooden one. <laughs> this is the story, this is the exact story of Jojo Part 1. Was, did it have Dio in it? Who made it must have been pretty skilled. It wasn't just a wooden coffin. It was all wood. No nails, no reinforcements, no gaps in the wood anywhere. The thing was airtight. My goodness. The crew got pretty curious about what might be inside it and opened it up. I had to get a wedge and hammer it open. So and then there was a vampire inside. Inside. And they found a woman. Or, I guess you should say, they found the dead body of a woman. Her hair was thick and black. And her skin rich brown with no blemishes or signs of decomposition. Is this zero? Is this where this is going? Been bringing up this stupid coffin and the, the fucking Cleopatra or whoever mummified in there. They say that she looked gorgeous, like a goddess. Oh, don't say that about a dead body. Kind of weird. Dead, but everyone who looked at her said she just looked like she was sleeping. Her skin was so lifelike she looked like she might wake up any minute. And then she woke up and put on a gas mask and started kidnapping. She did. Like the rest of the bodies they found, she was frozen solid. Eventually, the McKay Bennett finished searching and returned to Halifax. The 306 bodies were unloaded and taken ashore. However, it was warm enough that they began to thaw. They say that the stink was horrible. Yep, uh, it sounds gross. But there was one body that didn't thaw. Oh my god, what was it? And that was... Don't, don't tell me. No. <laughs> the girl in the coffin. That's right. Everybody thought for sure that she'd melt and start to rot like the rest of them. Weeks passed and nothing happened. Then a month passed, and another. It was summer, and she was still frozen solid. Crazy. After a while, people started to say she was some sort of miracle. Why did they just leave her out in the sunlight for so long? <laughs> Rumors about her started to spread. People came to visit Halifax from all over. And after a while, people started to call her All Ice. Oh, and then they turned to Al. How clever. Rumors didn't last long. Why? Well, she up and disappeared. One day Alice was there, the next day she wasn't. Yeah, probably because they just left her out in for months. Um, I guess the fucking loading dock. <laughs> just woman just won't melt. Leave her there. I swear to God, I will melt her. They say someone snuck into where they were keeping her and stole the body. With the body gone, the rumors followed pretty quickly. And after a while, no one remembered her. Crazy. Might be able to find something about her if they could find a newspaper from back then, but that's about it. And so why is she Wait, here? You just said that she was on this boat. Yeah, I did. Alice has got to be somewhere on this ship. Why? Now why the hell would you say something like that? Because I know. Okay. Just what is it you know? What happened to Alice after she was stolen? Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Time, the word was that there was a special black market in New York. All millionaires from all over the world. I've heard that Alice went up for auction then. The person who won the auction was Lord Dashiell Gordain. No, oh, God, not this dude heard again. That name before, right? No. Lord Gordain. Oh, isn't he the guy who bought the Gigantic? The Titanic sister ship? Yeah, that's him. Although, I guess he hadn't done that yet. What do you mean? He just wanted a body pillow is really weird Four years later in 1916 he bought the gigantic where is he getting this money from and he hit alice somewhere on the gigantic what the fuck okay what <laughs> i guess it's gordain where he died in 1931 and apparently he died without ever telling anyone where alice was hidden <laughs> however <laughs> what the fuck He did have one close friend who asked him, Yeah. Where is Alice? And he said, 
Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the forest of knowledge beneath the navel of the gigantic. Man, if I was this guy's friend, I'd kick him in the balls and then rip them off. What the hell is that? Some kind of riddle? Your guess is as good as mine. Also, how does anyone know what what he told his friend? Are you his friend? So that's it. Whatever you think, I believe it. She's hidden somewhere on the gigantic. In other words, she's hidden somewhere on this ship. Okay. What does that have to do with all hmm. who cares? Hey, what are you two doing over there? Stop wasting time and get over here. We've been talking for like 15 minutes. What have you been doing? Okay, okay, we're coming. Jeez. Yeah, so anyway, that's the story. Thanks. <laughs> Got my daily fill of knowledge. Might be useful someday. Yeah? Forget it. Are you sure? I will be blown away if this all comes back at the end. Alice. Huh. That mummy wasn't, wasn't just, just a normal, normal mummy. mummy. It was a daddy mummy. They say it was a vampire she mummy. She was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. Even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, Jude. <laughs> I'm trying to put the pieces together. And was that Egyptian priestess, Alice? Did the water in her body become Ice Nine? No, that, that's nuts. Is it? Is it nuts, Junpei? There's no way somebody like that could exist. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm sure it will. It'll, it'll be all come together later. I swear. Or it will never be brought up again. One of the two. All right. Let's start. Which, which door was first on over here? Red? Alright, let's do the red liquid first. Uh, ba 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 Boopy doopy. Nope, nope, not that. No, I didn't. I don't care. This red, yeah. Alright, and you flick the light on, and we go. Hey, it turned red! Forget about that. Did you hear that just now? No, I didn't. What'd you hear? What? Did it did stay unlocked? Oh, the leg! We did it! <laughs> Ticklet's foot. The right leg of the medical mannequin. I guess it's a woman's foot, but damn, it just look hot at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not much of a feet guy myself. Have you ever got a thing for feet seven? No, that that's crazy. <laughs> You're already kind of shady. Yeah, I guess you are a feet person, huh? That's weird. Stop. Get help. Armpits are way better. Anyway, uh, blue liquid. Yeah, I get it. Okay, when you go, 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 and another foot. Yes. This is a left footed mannequin. You think I'm better? What? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> how old are you? Before I answer this question, how old are you? Do you think my legs are skinnier? I don't know. I can't even see your legs. Anyway, and then, hey, I'm not, I'm not that dumb. You just combine these two to make purple. What? How? What? What do you mean? Oh, or you can do this. It would have been cooler if you mixed in your inventory. <laughs> I get it. You can mine the red liquid and the blue liquid to make a purple one. Good job, Junpei. Thanks, Clover. The purple light came on and I heard it unlocked. I'm sure it's, it's unlocked. Lock with the purple plate has got to be unlocked. All right, let's see what happened. <laughs> it's got to be unlocked. I swear to God, it's not unlocked. Uh, what is this? Fake stomach? This is the night. What is that? It's a really big no. <laughs> that's that's no nose. It's a stomach. Oh, a stomach. You're you guys are so goofy. Do we have all the pieces? I don't remember. Let's go see. Uh, I went back in. Let's go see. Hold on. 
get in there almost there there all right so you can put the okay listen put the thing okay so we've collected the six parts of the medical mannequin the ones we got must be for lucy right yeah seems like it well i say we give lucy her parts back any objections let's do it guys it's all worth it in the end we saved it <laughs> nope agreed all right let's get started Combine fusion. Hey, nothing happened. That's odd. Maybe it's the wrong. Maybe it's the wrong weight. Weight? Yeah. Well, you know, there's a scale on the side of the bed. Maybe we need to get the scale to a specific number. How are we gonna do that? I think we're supposed to swap our body parts with John's. Oh. Let's give it a shot. Operating instructions. The screen will display two medical mannequins. You can switch their body parts by selecting the part you want to switch out. Why would I want it to do what? Oh. Uh. Oh. Okay, so the arms are not correct. I guess. <laughs> uh. Do I only get, want them to be the same? Or, hold on. 53.5 and 51. Uh, 51.3 and 53.2. Okay, 51.3, 53.2. Uh... 50... Hey, I did it. I'm so good. Hey, June Bad just heard something. It came from John's operating table. Better check it out. Yeah, you better check it out. I can't move over there. My legs are stuck in place. Got these legs, curse these legged hands. Uh, huh? Lit on the scale. Oh, it opened! Oh, I get it. It must open because we matched John's weight to what's on the chart. Oh my god. Something in this part that's sticking out. Key 21, or the symbol for Jupiter. It's on the scale. We did it, guys. We solved one room. It actually, that was in record time. Oh, we're gonna be stuck here forever. Where's the 21 door? Uh, in here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hold on. What? Oh, uh, what's up? Where's Clover? <laughs> what do you mean, where's Clover? Huh? Oh, god damn it! How <laughs> did she go? What? How did she disappear? Uh, okay. There's Just like three rooms. I'll go get her. Sure thing. Clover. Hey, Clover. What's wrong? Come on. Let's get out of here. You doing okay? What are you doing? Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? <laughs> hey, Clover. Can you hear me? Are you okay? My brother might be dead. What makes you say that? Uh, huh? That's why we couldn't find him. What? Okay, I think you need to take a couple deep breaths. What are you talking about? What's wrong with you? What do you want to do? Told Clover they need to leave. Gave her the four-leaf clover. Oh yeah, I guess they do have that. Here, take this four-leaf clover. Oh, it's in my pocket somewhere. Uh, ah, here it is. A four-leaf clover. Just hey, for you. you know, each leaf means something. Yeah. Just just don't tell Santa. <laughs> Hope, faith, love, and luck. That's what a four-leaf clover stands for. Take it. Use it as a good luck charm. Listen to me, Clover. No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. Never. Or else despair will come. And we'll have to deal with another annoying bear. You have to remember what's most important. And that's to have faith and to have love. 
Damn. Going you can in Junpei. That'll bring you good luck. <laughs> Snake. I, I mean, your brother. He's not dead. He just he just got lost somewhere. He's alive somewhere. I, I'm sure of it. You've just got to believe in that. <laughs> Thank you. God, I'm such a nice guy. Now come on. Seven's waiting for us at the exit. Wait. Before we go, there's one thing I want to ask you. Yes, I am single. But I also need to ask what your age is. What do you think when you hear the word experiment? Oh my god, here we go again. No. No. <laughs> At this point, Jupe should just like... Scream and then run. No, I can't. I can't do it. It's not futility. It's not. <laughs> I don't know. was just a coincidence then. Ex excuse me? I feel like you guys all know something I don't. I mean, that you knew about the four-leaf clover. Uh, look. What? I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't want to be a jerk, but you are making less <laughs> no sense right now. <laughs> I don't want to be a jerk, but are you fucking insane? Oh, no, no, no. It's nothing. Just forget about it. All right. Don't Give me that. I, you really think I could just drop this? What is this experiment you were talking about? <laughs> yes, please. Promise you won't tell anyone. Not a soul. Cross my heart. Really? Yep, Pinky promise. Really? I can trust you, right? Always. Of course you can. Okay then. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened on this ship nine years <laughs> ago. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it, Clover. I I can't do this. I can't. I can't. Wait, wait, wait. You, on this ship? Yeah, this ship. It was an experiment to test some sort of psychic thing. Is that... <sighs> Is this an experiment? Is this what that... Communicating through these fields that you can't see. Here it is again. God, this is... This is getting... Some... I don't even know. I don't know. There's gonna be some crazy dank lore behind all of this. I just know it. Fields that you can't see? Like, think about this. I'm thinking. This is John, right? Yep. But is he really John? I don't know. He hasn't even told me his name. Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like Locke's socks. Excuse me? The ship of Theseus? Yeah, I know what those are. Um... You don't know? You haven't heard of those paradoxes? No, I can't say I have. No? Really? Okay, well pay attention then. This is how Locke's socks work. Okay, I'm ready. Let's say I've got a pair of socks. They're my favorite socks. Okay. One of them gets a hole in it. Alright. What would you do if that was your sock, Junpei? I would... Honestly, I have so many socks. If it's just a plain white sock. Oh, well, you said it's your favorite white sock. I mean, if it's, if it's just a white sock, who has a favorite pair of socks? Okay, that's your first issue. If it's just a regular white pair of socks and it gets a hole in it, I throw them out. Right? I have so many socks. It's fine. And if I have special... I actually do have special socks, but I don't wear them. Because I know if I wear them, they'll probably get a hole in them and I'll throw them out. Right? So I... <laughs> I guess I technically have special socks. With a cool design on them. I'm too scared to wear them. Uh, throw it away. Well, I'd pitch it, I guess. But it's your favorite pair of socks. I don't have a favorite pair of socks. Come on, who loves their socks? Th I, right, Jupe? These people are crazy. It doesn't matter. Just suppose you do love them that <laughs> much. <laughs> Fine, God. Hmm. Well, I guess then I'd patch it. But what if another hole opens? Oh... You know what? I actually have heard heard of uh, these two things. It's basically the, you know, if you keep replacing something, little by little, you keep replacing parts of something. Is it really the same thing, right? That's the ship one, I think, right? The ship of Theseus, where they just you keep repairing the boat with new planks of wood. But then if the whole thing's replaced by new wood, is it really is it still the ship of Theseus? 
I'd add another patch, I suppose. What if another hole opened after that? Um, another patch, I guess? Well, let's say you just keep adding new patches. Okay. Until eventually, the original cloth of the sock is totally gone. Right. Once you get to that point... <laughs> it's true, like, who would do this? What madman would ever do this? Can you really say they're the same socks you started with? Hmm. Uh, well, that... Hmm, that's... Oh, that, that's tough. I think that's also the same thing with the person, right? Where it's like... You survive because your cells, like, keep dividing, and then your old cells die. So it's like... Isn't there... I'm pretty sure there's a number of time that's calculated for how... Like, when all your cells, all your original cells, are replaced. So then you're like, are you... Are you... Am I Nugget? I don't know. All my cells have been replaced by new Nugget cells. I am the Nugget Reborn. So that's the Lock Socks thing? Yeah. The ship of Theseus is a lot like it. The ship of Theseus. If you keep fixing the damaged parts of a ship, eventually it ends up with none of the parts it started with. Right. Can you really say that ship is the same one you started with? Honestly, my answer to all of these would be... Who fucking cares? <laughs> you took all the old parts from the first ship and built another one somewhere else. You can't. They're damaged. Then which ship is the real ship of Theseus? The one you repaired or the one you built with all the original parts? Or this would never happen and whoever calls it the ship of Theseus is just this, it's just the ship of Theseus. It's like, this is the ship of Theseus. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess it is. Hmm. But, but Captain, someone just took all the parts we used to build this new one and build another ship. Isn't that the ship of Theseus? Oh my good lord. Hey, do you think it's the same? I don't, I don't care. What's the same? These guys. Is this John or is it Lucy now? Oh, because we replaced all of John's parts with Lucy. Well, he's still got his brain. Uh, John's head and heart are both his. But apart from those and the single arm... The rest of his body was once Lucy's. We're just like these mannequins. Yeah. Think about it. I'm thinking. The cells in our body change. That's what oh, I'm that so smart. Down, new ones are born. I'm so smart. Maybe part of my arm is made of stuff from a fish I ate once. Well, I don't think it technically is like that, but I, I or yeah. Or maybe part of your right side is made from a cow you ate. Or the person I ate. Don't worry about that if you part. Take though. it a little further. Those cows and fishes are made from something else too, right? Oh my god, we're all Is this the cell <laughs> What's that theory called? Uh the something something uh, what, uh, what is it? Origin original singularity theory or something. The cell singularity theory. <laughs> We're all just gonna combine into one cell eventually. That's how we're all connected. Through fields that can't be seen with the naked eye. Hey. <laughs> what the fuck are you two talking so about? Long. How long are you gonna make me wait? We don't have time to screw around. <sighs> I think we do. Uh oh. What were you two doing? Is this some sort of secret meeting? Yeah, we were. Never mind, I still don't know our age. <laughs> no, it wasn't. We were just just playing with the mannequins uh yeah what she said we were playing with the mannequins let's go junpei playing with mannequins huh <laughs> don't ask I didn't know you were into that kind of thing junpei well that mannequin is quite sexy <sighs> <sighs> you're a dick <laughs> so you're a penis all right i'm gonna open it now is that cool? Is that cool with y'all? need to keep asking, just do it, all right? <sighs> Fine, then. We did it. Now hurry. Flashbang me with... <sighs> An exit has been found. All right. Let's get going. Hey, man, what's up with you? What? You're so serious, you know? I mean, Make look at this void. Happy, you know, get <laughs> excited. All right, let's go, team. <sighs> Not really. Brother might be dead. Well, 
I don't know. It, it, he could be dead. But I don't know how he would die not without us finding his body. I'm going to be next. And I don't know why you would be next. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. Yeah, yeah, you found it. Yeah. There too, huh? And right on time too, because we have been going on on it. <laughs> As per usual, the one room per episode continues, and we learn so much more interesting things. <laughs> but I am, I'm starting to see a theme here with the stories. At first I thought they were all just like completely nonsensical randomness, but there is an interesting theme between them. I wonder now it's all going to play out in relation to the story. Hmm. Maybe this is all just some big weird experiment. Have you ever seen Kids Niver? Keys Niver? Maybe it's something like that. It's like some weird test to connect all of us somehow or something. Who knows? We'll figure that out eventually. But anyway, if you enjoyed this part, please feel free to leave a like and a comment. And I hope to see you all next time. Until then, bye.